Big Old Fish, sponsored by Awful Arthur's Seafood Company. Welcome back, 556 now on your Friday morning. And Ernest Hemingway once wrote that luck is a thing that comes in many forms, and who can recognize her? Well, he was, of course, talking about a big old fish in the book, The Old Man and the Sea. And now, who else do you think knows a lot about big old fish? Our very own George Noliff. How y'all doing, folks? Did I ever tell you about the time I was fishing off of Virginia Beach and a U.S. Navy sub showed up? Yeah, it really happened. America on display. And that's one kind of big old fish. Here's a few more. Like the huge largemouth caught by Steve Olzowie off a dock at Smith Mountain Lake. That bass weighed more than six pounds, and that certainly qualifies it as a big old fish. And look at this, state champs. That's Hunter Townsend of Rocky Mountain teammate John Wayner. They are members of the James Madison University bass fishing team, and those are some of the fish they caught in a tournament last year at Bugs Island. Those fish qualified them to fish in the college national championship. Hey, when your great grandma makes a special trip to fish with you, every fish is a big old fish. That's Betty Yates of Grundy. She came to Smith Mountain Lake to fish with her great grandson, Riley Dillon. Looks like they had a great time. Hey, guess what? Okay. Let's reel down a little bit. Okay. Until next time, I'm George Noel with WFXR News Outdoors Bound. Hoping all your catches are. I don't know. It's a big old fish, George. Big old fish. Thanks, George. And if you'd like to see your big old fish pictures or videos on air, just send them to George. That's his email address right there on your screen. That's gnoliff at wfxrtv.com.